a marine sanctuary. It sure does sound like a wonderful idea. But how does it work? How does it help change and improve the lives of coastal communities? The objective of a sanctuary can be to provide a space where fish can thrive in the absence of fishing pressure. Some may grow large and confident enough to venture out of this comfort zone and into the adjacent fishing grounds. There, they can contribute to better fishing yields in a process called the spillover effect, all to the benefit of surrounding fishing community. This was the original purpose of the Vamizi Island Sanctuary established by the local Community Fishing Council, or CCP. But how does it work in practice and how efficient is it? Equally important, who can find out about it? Wakati Raufu and the others are not common fishermen. In a joint effort between CCP and the Vamizi Marine Research and Conservation Center, they are diving in search of physical evidence of the spillover effect. Under the scientific direction of Isabel da Silva, they designed a simple experiment to test just that. With the help of traditional bamboo traps, fish are captured inside the sanctuary. Once on board, the fish are kept alive in a tank. Then, in the hands of Raufu, they are tagged, measured and photographed. After this quick and armless operation, the fish are put back in the water. A quick breath and off they go, back to their usual business. And if tagged fish are caught beyond the limits of the no-take zone, it will bring irrefutable evidence that the sanctuary has met its objective. Taking measures that add value to already existing ecosystem goods and services is great. But remarkable is a community that create their own knowledge to gain a more profound understanding of their natural heritage.